Well, hey everybody, I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside and welcome to As Above, So Below, a rune and tarot divination for Monday, the first day of August, 2022. Well, new month, got to do bills. <laughs> it's the ritual for the first day of the month. It's also Lunasa or, Lam or Lamas. We had Lamas Eve last night. We, uh, I made my harvest soup. And uh, my husband was supposed to make the blueberry muffins, but using the blueberries from our our blueberry bushes, but he had to fix the dishwasher instead. So <laughs> that sort of shot that out of the water. Uh, but uh, he'll do that today. So we'll have some nice blueberry muffins. And uh, when he gets done doing what he's got to do, he'll uh, come in and he'll do that. And that'll be fun. So let's see. Where's my stuff? Here it is. Let's take a look at the uh, esoteric influences for today from the post on the blog. Um, the blog's address is uh, imsteppingaside.com. It's called Stepping Aside. And uh, I do this once a week. Um, it, it posts on, on Saturday night or Saturday late Saturday afternoon. And uh, uh, you can get that also in your inbox along with a couple other things that, you, that are usually in there in a newsletter. Uh, sign up for that's also if you just scroll down a little bit on the blog there when you get there you'll see on the left side panel a place to put your email address in if you want to get the newsletter you can do it you can get it in newsletter form basically and th there's some other stuff there's some cosmic ray information for the week and and other stuff I think I, I put a little deal about Lamas in, in, in there about what that's all about and uh, Anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look at, well, let me move my keyboard out of the way here. Oops, I messed with my monitor there. That's always fun, isn't it? When you start moving things around. Okay, so for the first, we have a one numerology today, which is new beginnings or leadership, wholeness, unity, talent. Uh, let's see, Urus is the, is the uh, Elder Futhark rune for today from, from uh, the Esoteric in Influences. It means ener energy shaping matter. It's the Oryx, uh, big bison-like creature, basically is extinct now. Uh, but uh, it means it's strength and endurance. But the idea that we can manifest our, 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 our uh, new opportunities, we can manifest whatever we like. We have the, ener the strength to, to and, and the energy to shape matter. Uh, or, or an outcome, for, if you want to look at it that way. Fortuna Major is the Geomancy rune, which is Greater Fortune. Uh, the moon's in Virgo. It transitions to Libra tonight at 9.06 p.m. Uh, so as a new month begins, your talent and leadership foster new beginnings, and you're able to manifest success in new endeavors. You're also focused on routine tasks and making sure that you're feeling healthy and balanced. Uh, if it's your emotions that are impacting your life, it may be time to let go of issues that are no longer relevant to you. Exercise some restraint when not all, not all facts are known to avoid becoming fixated on a particular outcome. Uh, if you're feeling limited by challenges, it may be that they're self-imposed and you need to let go of old paradigms so that a new path can form. And the idea about getting fixated, uh, that's from the human design uh, chart that I, I cast for each day. Um, I, I do two different charts, astrology and, and also an astro astrological one and one for, from human design. And... And, and I'll tell you that the whole week is dealing with that issue in some way or another about becoming too fixated on a particular outcome or just fixated, period. So just be aware of that for the whole week. Um, let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Um, let's go ahead then and pull the rune from the Elder Futhark bag um, to get the significator started. Um, for those of you who haven't been here before, welcome. It's nice to see new people. Uh, nice to see new subscribers. I think we had one this last week. Um, let's see. Uh, I take the, the, I, I, the runes I do are the significators or overall influence for the reading or focus for the reading. Uh, and the Elder Futhark one is all yeast. All use means the elk or protection. Kind of looks like the elk antlers up there. But it's a it's an interesting rune because it's it's like the bridge to higher consciousness. There's several runes that are like that. Uh, it's 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 kind of like uh, well it it means higher consciousness. It's like raising your arms in supplication to spirit and drawing down the, that that uh, higher awareness into your perception. But in doing so, it creates a level of divinity that is protective in nature for each person. 
so you can chant that you know you can chant you can chant any of the runes at any time uh, but basically if you do then you're, you're invoking the energies that they that they uh, possess and so if you're feeling like you need some spiritual protection you can whether or not you raise your hands in supplication or not you can chant all yees and, and receive that receive those blessings so the the uh, geomancy rune let's take a look at that let's see where's air there's air there's water Okay, we're looking at a Missio, and uh, let's see, that was not, was Fortuna Major was the one for today, from the Esoteric Influences. Sometimes we get the same ones, there's a Missio, or at least one of them is the same. This is a Missio, or loss, or decrease. Its opposite would be Acquisitio, or increase. It doesn't necessarily have to be financial in nature, although it can be. It can be it can be a decrease or loss of anything. So it could be positive in that say something that is is happening that you don't it's not a comfortable thing that's happening, it stops happening. So that could also represent a missio. So something where where something ends or, or, or something is, you've, you've lost something or something is decreased. So if there's conflict and it's decreased, it can indi indicate that the conflict is decreasing, for example. So that would be a positive way to look at, at a missio. Otherwise, it's, it, it could in fact mean uh, a financial type of a loss. So, so it could be like a loss the, the loss of anything that ego is 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 uh, of ego getting in the way of spirit you could look at uh, both alies and amissio that way uh, or it could indicate that there's a loss of spirituality in your life uh, a decrease perhaps um, and and or spiritual awareness so but let's see what the cards have to say uh, they may have something else to say about that um, but it'll give us the direction really of, of where this is actually going I've done some shuffling before I started here, so I don't have to sit and shuffle forever. It's always fun to listen to someone shuffle cards. Well, we have two uh, two two knight cards, <laughs> two cards from the court: the the knight of cups and uh, the knight of swords. So this is kind of interesting. I, I don't know if we want to leave them in the same order, and then we have judgment. Uh, so we have a, let's see, that's the 20th card of the Major Arcana. So overall, there's a two numerology. Now we may, given that we have two cards from the court, we may want to go ahead and, and take another card. But let's just read it first and see. We may not need to. Um, but there's an interesting thing uh, when you have people on cards uh, that are looking at one another. Uh, sometimes that means they're talking to each other. And the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords are doing just that. It just depends on how we want to read it. We can read it this way or we can go ahead and switch them. Um, my inclination is to switch them. Because here you've got the Knight of Cups that or Knight of Cups that are that's it's an offering. And that seems to be kind of peaceful, but here you've got the Knight of Swords. It's in. It's he's he's getting into action here. He's moving moving swiftly. Uh, things are things are changing, uh, and and so I wonder. Let's go ahead and uh, let's 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 switch them, and we'll read the Knight of Swords first, um, because I think that there is a change that's happening here. Uh, with the Knight of Swords and the, the, the Knight of Cups here. I think that there's a, a change in, in uh, maybe energy or a change in focus, maybe. Because I don't think together they're going to really align too well. You're not going to see Knight of Cups and then the Knight of Swords. So let's switch them. And we'll start with the Knight of Swords. Now, here we have a, a, a Knight. Uh, he's moving swiftly. Now, he, he's not really in battle, though, because, see, the visor's still up. You can see the wind is blowing quite a bit. It's moving away clouds. He could be he could be going back uh, and, and cutting through deception. 
basically what is this on my screen all of a sudden here we go he's he's it's almost like he's cutting through deception he's going back and he's righting the wrongs righting the ship maybe in a way that seems like the energy of this but he's battle hardy uh, it, this indicates swift action cur courage uh, integrity he accepts challenges so maybe in terms of missio, are we talking about maybe the loss of fear, maybe of dealing with things, uh, maybe a, 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 since swords is the air element, you know, you're talking about the intellect, all the mental issues. Uh, you're talking also about integrity, uh, honesty, uh, uh, and so and and also conversely deception. So so much of of uh, like the three of swords, you're talking about betrayal. Uh, like two people are gossiping or, or betraying the one one other person. Uh, and you can see that because there's one sword out front. They're all piercing a heart, right? But two of them are, are, are doing it behind the other one. And so it's almost like it's gossip or backbiting. Um, but it's definitely a, it's definitely a betrayal uh, of sorts. Uh, so here it's almost like the clouds of deception are parting with his sword. And he's just cutting through all of it, very similar to the Queen of Swords. What she does as well. But it's having the courage to look at things, to look at the, your perceptions, and and see where e even this is even if the deception is self deception, um, the knight could be saying it's time to act with courage. It's time to let go of things that that maybe you've seen, you, maybe perceptions you've had for a while about one thing or another, and to lose that. That would be the emissio side, the decrease. Maybe there's just been you've been operating too much uh, on self deception, thinking that things are a certain way when they're not you know maybe you're caught up with with other people that are influencing you and it's time to to take a a, a hard look at all of it and to 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 make some realizations that maybe you've been headed in the wrong direction perception wise um, that would be another way of looking at the knight of swords but it's to have that courage that inner integrity to be able to look dispassionately at things and not get so caught up in the emotion or the drama of it and then when you do that, then you move to the Knight of Cups, who's a, a chival, chivalrous young man. He's on his horse. He's holding his uh, 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 his, cu his cup or chalice, uh, like uh, he's holding it in offering, perhaps. Offering of emotional security, maybe. He's, again, he's chivalrous. Uh, he's... Uh, uh, this can also indicate movement. You see the movement of the water below, like things could be changing again, maybe as a result of, of this of the uh, uh, Knight of Swords, where you're willing to take a look at at how you see things. And maybe you're <clears throat> you're just seeing them seeing them wrong and you need to have maybe a little more compassion for something or someone. Um, there you see the wings, the winged sun or the winged disc up here on the, on his helmet. Uh, now that can indicate healing. So there could be a healing component, maybe the healing that it takes to be able to, once you realize you've, you've been going in the wrong way, uh, perception wise, now you have to get, forgive yourself for that and let it go and just realize, you know, we all, we all get into a, a, a pattern and, and, and sometimes we have to recognize that and be willing to step outside of that and start looking at things differently. And, and maybe the compassion isn't for others. It's maybe for yourself, kind of letting yourself off the hook, maybe. But he's passionate. He's a visionary. Uh, uh, there's also a sense of arrival with this card where you've arrived at a new way of seeing things, uh, maybe with more empathy um, uh, instead of being so analytical about things. Maybe it's time to be more to, to show more empathy and understanding of compassion, uh, not just for yourself, but for others, maybe. 
but it's also going to align well with all yees because you're bringing you're bringing in a higher awareness maybe there was some ego going on with the with with this with situation that the knight of swords is talking about maybe there's some lower vibrational ego and that's where you've gotten caught up and now you realize through all yees that it's time to start looking at things from a spiritual perspective uh, and and with that level of compassion and, and dignity and and empathy for other people and also but again it keeps coming into my head also for yourself uh, especially you know if you thought say say you thought something about somebody that just wasn't true uh, you believed some other people and 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 now you you you've maybe treated that person you know at least indifferently uh, if not out outright you know been mean to them and so now you realize that that that's not a that's not who they are at all and and you have to now apologize for it somehow because you because you feel bad it's like well it matters that you misjudge somebody you know and so so it could be that type of energetic exchange here between the knight of swords and the knight of cups that it could be talking about but realistically it could be talking about anything here these are just some ideas i'm throwing out here that it could be uh, again i like to try to keep these these readings as general as possible so that someone can, you know everyone can find something something valuable in them uh, and then we awaken this is definitely uh, 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 related to all yees here we see the angel gabriel above uh, blowing his horn waking everybody up out of their caskets waking up everybody out of their their eternal slumber if you will you see both uh, x's up here uh, uh that's the 20th card it reduces to two numerologically so we're talking about balance and love and reciprocity uh, also two two can be decisions so the choice to wake up the flag here is not indicative of I mean it can be indicative of healing I suppose but this is basically how I see it here's here's your cross okay and up here we have spirit and here we have form we live here thereabouts we should be here but we live here <laughs> instead and here's the 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 uh the line of uh the line the the abyss where we go down through and and through that line we're no longer just spirit we're now you were now uh, incarnating into form and so then the polarity becomes important we have the feminine the masculine or the receptive and the projective presence but understanding all of this with judgment is you end up here that, that you, you realize this that you should have been here basically in other words even though you know you're here at this point Let me put that back here so i have it i don't have to redraw it every single time i pull this card but uh, uh but i think with judgment you know we're uh, uh, this is about rebirth and renewal and awakening and transformation being able to see the bigger picture and i think that that's the the uh the advantage of, of uh, incorporating all yees into your awareness, letting higher awareness come in, you can you can see the bigger picture. And so it helps you then to make the decision that, you know, somewhere along the line, um, I've been deceiving myself and it's time to take a, a, a more objective look at, at the situation and see where my perceptions kind of you know, went awry and, and how do I need to reorder them? And the way you do that is to offer compassion and empathy to bring more of that into your perceptions and, and into your behavior uh, to maybe be less uh, judgmental of people uh, or, or, or what have you and, and instead try to understand the bigger picture and awaken to the actual fundamental truth that we're all part of the same energy uh, the same creator energy focused into form and uh, when, so then when we we look at one another instead of seeing the other we should see a brother or a sister we should see the other side of self instead of you know the other and which which is very has a very different connotation uh, and and maybe that's that's the issue here um, we need to lose the idea that that we are separate from one another uh, and to find common ground that that exists in, in, on the soul level anyway you know that's 
were just pieces of the greater oversoul and from there the the, the creator uh, focusing its in intention into form and uh, to have a tangible experience basically to experience that side of things to in, instead of having it all you know in the ether basically and all in spirit you know it, the creator decided at one point if you it, i i love the example of the great mother breathing out breathing out existence and we rest in the great mother's breath until she's ready to draw us back in uh, i just think that's a beautiful way of looking at this um, and, and in the process, we have all of these things that we learn and, and experience. Uh, and, and one of the greatest things we need to understand is that we're not separate from one another. And this us versus them thing that's going on so strongly right now all over the world. It isn't just in our country here in the U.S. It's, it's all over the world where there's this sense of nationalism but the sense of nationalism creates the us versus them experience to where only they are the ones that matter and everyone else is the enemy, basically. It's what it ends up coming down to. And it's ridiculous because that isn't who we are. It's who we've, ne we've never been that. Although we ha can have continual skirmishes, if you will, uh, trying to figure out uh, how do we live in our separateness when we should be learning how to live as one. Uh, and 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 in, in doing so, elevating everyone in the process uh, to 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 be to 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 think that that there's a, a a difference any more than 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 a perception. See, the differences are only perceptual, and so is the Knight of Swords. Then basically discussing that to take a look at how we've seen things in the past and realize that we've been deceiving ourselves all along and that in truth we come together in unity and harmony uh, and at that point we awaken to the truth of who we all are with judgment. I don't think we need another card. Uh, but I think that, that realistically then emissio here in this reading is, is likely um, the decrease of perception that is us versus them based, uh, the self-delusion, the self-deception that that really is, because it's not true. Um, it, it, any more than, you know, you have individual cells in the body, but if they don't work together, the body gets sick, right? Well, it's the same principle for humanity. If we don't live together in harmony, then it, we end up having a sickness that develops between us, and, and it's... Uh, uh, some of the things I see uh, uh, people that are that are lawmakers in our country uh, say about other people, about the populace, you know, about about the 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 uh, uh, people who live here uh, that don't necessarily support them, that ha have other that they they belong to a different party. Well, then they're the enemy. Well, no, none of us are the enemy. It's all an illusion that we have that we have constructed to to function with, and and at any time we can be the knight of swords and have the integrity, have the courage, have the strength to cut through that nonsense and realize that that's just a self-imposed illusion, and it's not helping anything, you know. Instead of having everyone work together for common cause, instead it's like well, you've got you've got senators who 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 basically said no to uh, uh, the uh, uh, veterans bill uh, that deals with, with burn pit victims. Uh, they, they have the, they've had those forever. And people who have to man them, they get sick from it. And maybe not right, uh, maybe not right away, but later on they develop cancers related to it. And they have to be taken care of. But you've got people in the Senate that were congratulating each other and patting each other on the back. There's video of it. Uh, I mean, it was sickening to watch. These people so proud of themselves that they said no to veterans who give their all when they're in military service. They don't get to say no. I mean, they saw what happened when they said no to the vaccinations. They got booted. You know, that that's not part of being in the military. You don't get to say no. When my husband was in the military, they said, we own you. Forget about your mothers. Forget about your fathers. Forget about your family. We own you now for the time that you're here. You belong to the military now. Well, so it was so odd to see people think they could they could get away with not uh, uh, get taking the COVID vaccines. It's like, are you kidding me? 
you come in there and you have umpteen trillion vaccines that they give you. You think you can get away with not taking this one and not have there be consequences? Yeah, well, there will be. And there was. So it's like this self-delusion that people were under that somehow, you know, they have, they have choices that they don't have. And, and that there are consequences to those, to those choices. And, and I think that, that what the Knight of Cups is telling us is that there's a better way. There's a way to, to see the, the harmony, the unity, and to make that change in perception, <coughs> excuse me, that, that you need to have in order to get out of whatever you've, you've convinced yourself of and realize that, that it's harming people or it's harming yourself or it's harming the relationships around you. that you have with other people so i don't know i i think that that this is you you i think that judgment is going to align very well with all ease and and get us to understand that that in fact everything about us is spirit it's the soul focused into form and that the soul should actually be driving the ship basically instead of you know and navigating through the waters of life instead of allowing the ego to do that and I think when you get swords in play, that's what's happening. The ego is coming in. We're trying to analyze everything and try to come up with some realistic thing, you know, of how to see something. When if we just move from a heart space, we would know it's like, well, wait a minute. You know, having compassion for somebody. It's like somebody, when somebody gets upset or angry or whatever, maybe there's something else behind it. And if you just deal with the immediacy of it, you know, you interact one way. But if you take a step back and take a breath or two, maybe you can say to yourself, I wonder what's going on. Why is this happening? Because this isn't like them. And instead of throwing the baby out with the bathwater and dismissing them entirely, maybe at some point you come back and say, hey, are you okay? You know, what's going on? You know, something seems wrong here. What's what's going on with you? Are you okay? Having some compassion, having some empathy, having some understanding for the situation. Um, uh, but again, you can ask the same of yourself. You know, why am I seeing so in, in things in such a either or kind of experience? Why is that happening? Why is there such a division in my perceptions of things? Uh, and, and realize that that's self-imposed. That's that's an illusion. Uh, because when we're not in these bodies, we're souls that are, that are together. I, I don't, so why would it be any different here? And maybe when we talk about ascension, maybe that's what we're talking about. Maybe we're talking about ascending to that truth and understanding that, that we are all one and they're all one in the creator. So let's start acting like it maybe. Let's awaken to that truth and, and begin uh, and begin celebrating life with one another and finding a way to 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 actually finding a way back to one another uh, that might be the best way to say it so so i guess that i guess i heard a ding do i have my phone in here i don't i don't have my phone in here that's weird maybe it's out well is it in here no i left it out there i guess i could hear it all the way in here i don't know maybe i'm getting a Maybe I'm getting a package or something. Anyway, I guess that's it. I have to go see what that was. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had a good weekend. Hopefully, I think we're starting to be in the high 80s and, and low to mid 90s. I think it's supposed to be maybe 98 toward the end of the week here. Um, but I think the triple digits are over for us, I hope. Uh, we were at least 104 yesterday. We had several days at 107. I don't think we ever got to 108. Uh, I kept refreshing my, my phone app, my weather app on my phone, uh, to see if it was going to get there, but it didn't. And uh, so I'm like... I can't believe I'm doing that, you know, but uh, it, it's been it's been an interesting uh, week. It, it, it was so hot here and uh, I stayed inside for most of it. Uh, but even when you went out, as long as you didn't go out in the direct sun, it was manageable, you know. But if we if I had gone out into the pasture or out into the gardens or something, that would have been hard. That would have been too much. I, I was out there one day and I think I came in about one thirty or so and, and I was just wiped. I was I, I overdid it. My husband says, you've overdone it, haven't you? I said, yeah, I did. So I just had to sit for a while and drink water and <laughs> try to get myself back on track. But it took a while. 
but I had to pick peas and then I saw the raspberries and, and then I saw some other stuff. And so I had to do it, you know, cause I was there and it's one of those things where you think, oh, it'll just take me a second to do it. Right? No. And so, but, but, but I got everything and, and I've, I've got to go and process the peas actually today. It's, I, I can't leave them in the fr fr refrigerator any longer, so I'm going to have to freeze them. But, uh, uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Plus working on uh, next week's, uh, posts and everything. So, so I hope you guys will, uh, stay cool. I hope you have a, a, a very good week, um, and come back again on Thursday for another edition of As Above, So Below. Uh, I hope you'll click subscribe and, and, and uh, also give this a like if you would. That would be lovely. And uh, be good to yourself. Be good to one another. And blessed be.